Here, I'll try to explain the basic idea of a short truth table within three minutes. I will cut it down to the most basic idea. So this is one of the simplest explanations you may encounter. In this explanation, I will assume that you already have a knowledge of uh, the long or complete truth table method. Thus, I will no longer explain the processes involved in the long truth table method that we also find in the short method. So first, what is the short truth table method? It is a way to check the validity of an argument using only one row. And no matter how many terms or propositions you have in the argument, you only need to produce one row. That's correct, only one row. No need to sweat out all the other rows. So which row? We only have to try to produce the invalid row or the one where the premises are true, but the conclusion is false. So immediately we start by assuming that the premises are true and the conclusion is false. In the sample we have here, the premises are if P then Q and Q while the conclusion is P. So you see, we've gone ahead and written the truth values. The premises are true while the conclusion is false. Our task now is to see if the row works. This means we have to see if there are problems with the row if we assume that the premises are true while the conclusion is false. If we find no problems, the row works. Now, if the row works, it means in your long truth table, you will necessarily produce at least one invalid row. If there's at least one invalid row, then the argument is invalid. Conversely, if the assumed invalid row does not work, then no matter how much you try, you will never produce an invalid row in the argument you are testing. If that is the case, then you have a valid argument. We can see in this example that the row works. If P is false while Q is true, you will produce an invalid row. P then Q is true when P is false and Q is true. So this single row works. This means the argument is invalid.